Hi guys, James here from plumberparts.co.uk and today we're going to be looking at these Nest Learning thermostats and installing them on a heating system that has underfloor heating, radiators upstairs and also hot water. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter and also click the subscribe button below and I'll see you in the video. Hold tight! Right guys, so as we're all aware, homes and their heating systems are being controlled in a different way now. And I wanted to show you how we actually install uh, Nest Learning thermostats on a system that had all three types of major system in the UK. So like I said, underfloor heating, radiators that they've got upstairs here, and also a unvented hot water cylinder. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fit three Nest Learning thermostats in this house. We're gonna have two downstairs for the two underfloor heating zones, and then we're gonna have one upstairs that will control the hot water and also the radiators. So before we begin, let's pop open a box of one of these Nest Learning thermostats and see what's inside. So then, number one, make sure that the tag's still on here, just in case that someone's tampered with it. Right, so as you can see, beautifully packaged, looking absolutely amazing is our lovely Nestat with a black bezel on it. It's worth noting that you can get different colored bezels for these as well. So they come in stainless steel, copper, white, and black. And when you replace them, you're actually replacing the whole screen as well. Already, I'm really looking forward to installing this. So we have our actual Nestat here. Uh, this is what does all the work. And then underneath, we'll have our standard instructions. If you're a man, throw these away, okay, and do it wrong the first time. If you're a woman, read the instructions and get it right the first time, okay? I know, I'm a man. Inside as well, we've got our heat link. Uh, this is gonna be installed next to the controls of our heating system, and that's about it. So as you can see, it's all very, very simple. These are the two main components that you've got when you actually get a Nest stat and the instructions as well. If you're replacing an existing like wall-mounted thermostat, then this is all you're gonna need to do this job to, to change that over. But if you're gonna be putting in a new thermostat or if you want a wireless thermostat that you can move around the house, then you're gonna need to get yourself a Nest Stand. Um, inside the Nest Stand box, you'll have the USB charger for the thermostat and obviously the stand itself as well. It's worth noting that Nest thermostats are compatible with almost all central heating systems and hot water systems in the UK, but it's worth checking their compatibility on the Nest website, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So we're in the airing cupboard of this heating system. As you can see, I've got my underfloor heating manifold behind me, got the boiler above us, and just next door, we've got our unvented hot water cylinder as well. Uh, as you can see, I've already popped my wires in, and I've done most of the wiring already for this heating system. We're not gonna be showing you in depth how to do wiring because you need to have a qualified electrician do this. So because of the reason that all our wires come back to this place, this is where we're gonna be putting our three heat links. Just take into account that we're not putting our heat link behind like a big thick wall or inside a metal box because we need them to have a good wireless connection with the thermostats on the wall. So we've got number one heat link here that I've just named on the back as upstairs and hot water and I've put stainless as well. So I know that I'm not gonna get this one mixed up with uh, another thermostat in the room and that's gonna sit up here. I've got our living room one up here and I've got my kitchen one up here. I also I'd like to just draw your attention to the fact that the special screws that get supplied and I've only just learned this today as well, um, you don't actually need plugs for. Uh, I imagine if you're going into really thick brick, you probably still need to plug them, but this will work on plasterboard, uh, probably also work on like thermalite block and also wood. So we're gonna give these a try today as well. Hopefully I'll never need to use a 5.5 red plug ever again. So as with everything you do, make sure you use a spirit level. I know that no one's gonna see in here forever, but we're all proud installers, aren't we? And we're gonna do as good a job as we possibly can. Make sure as well, just between you and me, spend good money on a boat level. They are worth their little weight in gold. Right, so now that we've got our heat links up on the wall, what I'm gonna do is put my live neutral earth in and also my switch live back. And that will be the signal wire back to our two port or three port valves to tell our port valves to open. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to do that in depth as I've said already, and there's good reasons why, but you installers out there, you know exactly what I'm doing at the moment. And you'll also know that I'm taking great care to make it look absolutely beautiful as well. So let's get on with it. Um, remember guys as well the, to link over whatever voltage you're switching um, because it, doesn't happen internally with these nests and for good reason as well. 
uh, because you might be switching a 240 volt power supply, you might be switching 24 volt or 12 volt control wire. As I say, always refer to the instructions as well. If this is one of the first ones that you're doing on a customer's house, just make sure you do your research beforehand. We've got all our heat links in nice and neat. We've got our covers all back on here and we're about to turn the power back on. But before I do that, I'm just gonna get all our thermostats like either put on the wall or put on their little stands and also in the position that I want them to be. In. Right, so the first one we're putting one in is the living room. And we've got the, the black one here because I think it looks the coolest with this decor, with the TV, the sofas and the the lovely elephant that they've got over there. So we're just gonna pop that one here. As you can see, we've got that on the base, easily fitted onto the base. You get the base plate for the actual Nest thermostat, just a couple of Phillips head or cross headed screws in the back, and that's ready to go. So we plug that in. It's just the same procedure for the one in the kitchen because that's mounted on a stand as well. Uh, we've got a slightly different one upstairs because that's wall mounted. Right then, so we're popping the Nest thermostat upstairs. This will be controlling the radiators and also the hot water. And just looking at it, we've got, oh, <laughs> take note that there's a spirit level on here as well, so it stays level. Um, also, if you're changing over an old thermostat that would have probably had 240 volt connection on there, what you need to do is discard that 240 volt connection and use those wires to connect T1 and T2 to the relevant connections inside the heat link. That means then that the Nest thermostat is powered by 12 volts and not 240 volts. It's very, very important you do that the right way around. So we're gonna use these absolutely revolutionary screws as well to make sure this is all level, get it plugged in, and then get our first thermostat powered up and programmed. Right, I want you guys to take note as well as where we've installed this. It's at a decent height, so it's not too low and it's not too high, kind of, Eye height is perfectly fine. I am really short, so I've put it slightly higher to account for normal size human being. So we'll just pop this on. There we go, as you can see, that's just come alive. Welcome to Nest Land. So the thing you need to consider when you're putting a Nest thermostat next to radiators, or in this particular area that we're in right now, is that the room or the area that the Nest is located needs to have a radiator with the TRV left completely open or if you've got the option, take the TRV head off altogether and put a decorative head on. The reason for that is we want the Nest thermostat to get an accurate reading of the maximum output of the heating system. The other rooms can have TRVs on them and close and open at their will. So now's the time I'd pop back downstairs and power up all our heat links so we know that we can get this set up properly. So our location, guys, you're not gonna see this bit. I'm gonna do this now. <laughs> Pop in where your thermostat is, so we're upstairs in the hallway. You're upstairs, we're just gonna call this one upstairs. So at this point, if you haven't registered already, pop over to nest.com forward slash EU forward slash pro and register yourself as the installer. That way you can enter your Nest Pro ID and then anytime in the future, your company details will show up on the Nest thermostat, which is a great way as well for you guys to get repeat business. But I've spoken about this in other videos as well. So next step, you should see that your heat link is now connected wirelessly. And at this point, we set up exactly what kind of boiler we've got. The control is is on off our source. Our source for this is oil. The delivery is radiators. It's worth noting that later on when we get downstairs, because the hole downstairs is under floor, we make this setting in floor radiant. But because we're upstairs where the heat output is through radiators, that's what I'm going to select. The hot water control will set to on off, and then the actual temperature of the hot water is defined by the thermostat on the side of the hot water tank. Nest is now configured for your system. Press continue. And now we're at the iconic Nest screen that all of us know so well, where you can twist it and play around with it as much as you like. So this number 22 here is the temperature that we've currently got inside the room. The heat is set to 18, and you can see that sort of comes up and down as we twist the ring. The Nest leaf will appear when we turn the heating system temperature down to a setting that's more economical. 
So in the short period after you've installed the Nest thermostat, you need to tell it when you're comfortable and when you're not. So you can set it to 20, 21, 22 degrees when you're at home. And then when you go out, just turn it back down again. But over time, it'll actually know when you're at home by using firstly the sensor on the thermostat itself, but also it knows where you are because of your mobile phone. So when you come back home, your Nest will know that you've come back in and turn the heating on to the ambient temperature that you've told it you want it to be. But at the same time, if you want to override that function, it's very easy for you to do by just clicking down on the thermostat itself and then going over into the schedule area. But you can also do that on the Nest app as well, and we'll be showing you that in a minute. So now we've got this thermostat set up, I'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna do the two underfloor ones as well. And then I'm gonna show you how we can set up the times for this system using the actual Nest app on your iPhone or your Android device. Right then, so back in the kitchen, we need to set up this lovely white nest, which I think you agree suits the actual kitchen units in here really well. Uh, but we need to set this up. So firstly, that it's in the kitchen itself. And then also that we're actually heating this kitchen and this space with underfloor heating. So I'm gonna set that up in a sec. So it's a system boiler. The heating control is on off. Source again is oil. And it says delivery radiator. So we're just gonna go into that and change that to in-floor radiant. And what that means is that this particular Nest thermostat will know that the heat curve is a lot shallower. And that means it's gonna take a lot longer for the heating system to warm up because you've got underfloor heating. So the Nest will bring on your heating a lot earlier to attain the temperature that you set for it to come on at say eight in the morning. And so now that we've told this Nest thermostat that the heating source is underfloor heating, it knows to turn on earlier because the heat curve is shallower. Can I just say, it's a fist pump moment, right? When you fit one of these beasts, you've done all that wiring that you saw us do a minute ago and you switch up manually and you hear click, comes on straight away, you know, valve opens, pump comes on, all the lights come on, the boiler comes alive. That's the most satisfying thing in the world. So guys, firstly, let's just have a little recap of what we've done so far. We've fitted three heat links that control the three major areas of heating in this house and also the hot water as well. Uh, I've shown you how to connect them to the internet, um, how to set them up so they're working initially. Um, and the best and most intuitive way of setting up the heating system if you want to put times in and temperatures is to use the actual Nest app itself. So we're going to download it now and I'm going to give you a bit of an overview as to how that works. So once you've downloaded the Nest app onto your mobile device, all you need to do is create an account using your standard email address and a password. And then it's so easy to add any of the sort of range of Nest products. This goes for the Protect and all the camera systems they use as well. So once you finish the installation, you're gonna need your customer's phone and their Nest account to be able to move on to this next stage of pairing up all their devices. Once you've got that, it's really, really easy. You pop into the Nest app itself, you click the add button to add a new device. So if you look on the back here, you'll see there's a nice little QR code there. And all we need to do is use our phone camera to scan that QR code, just like that. And now it can see that we've added another Nest app. So now follow the steps on the app. So now we've got success with that one. We're connected and it's all ready to go. It's got add another product. We're gonna be doing that a few more times now. Uh, if you've only got one, just click the done button and then go on to the next stage. But while you're doing that, I'm gonna go and get the other ones set up. So on the main Nest home screen on the app, we've got our kitchen, our living room, our upstairs radiators, and also our hot water. So if we go into the kitchen now, we can actually manually turn it up by dragging our finger around the outside of the dial or using the arrows at the bottom so we can get that so it's running. We can also schedule. Really guys, the schedule is self-explanatory. So if you wanna add a new time, click the add button in the corner and say you want your kitchen to come on at six in the morning, you can click that and say, right, I want you to be at 20 degrees at six in the morning. And when you want it to go off, say at 10, you can click on that and then drag that to go back down to 16 degrees at 10. If you get anything wrong, click the remove button and you'll be able to remove it. Be aware that the history tab will only come to life after you've had your Nest installed for two or three days. And also alongside the history tab, you'll get a home report emailed to your email account every month. When you get five minutes, click on the cogwheel at the top right hand corner of the app and you'll see home info, home away assist, spaces, family contacts, and many other menus that you can go through and look at and use. So there we go guys, I've shown you how you can fit a Nest thermostat to your underfloor heating system, your radiator heating system, and also your hot water as well. If you need any more help, do pop over to the Nest website. It's also worth noting that there is a whole spectrum of products that can go with this, like the Nest Protect, and also the Nest Cams, and they'll also work on that app as well. I think you'd agree, this looks absolutely brilliant. The white looks great on here. I think the black one looks fantastic in the living room as well. And the stainless steel adds a lovely little bit of chic next to that lovely wooden door next to it as well but you know I'm just 
big fan of that sort of thing, aren't I? Guru, aren't I, Jake? Jake doesn't want to be on camera ever. Remember guys, if you're an installer, you can sign up for Nest Pro at nest.com slash eu slash pro. So for a start, you can win work. So if someone buys a Nest thermostat and they're looking for a local installer and you've signed up to Nest Pro, they can pop their postcode in and you'll appear so you can win work. Also, there's training for Nest Pros online. Uh, also where you can buy them at wholesalers and also uh, your own use nest. So if you're an installer and you want to fit a nest in your own house, you'll be able to get a small discount on there as well. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys. As you can see, these are absolutely beautiful looking units. They work really well. We haven't fully covered all of what they can do. I highly recommend you pop over to their website and have a look at all their capabilities because I could literally be here for hours talking about this on video and I'm sure you don't want to sit there listening to all that. So I can't wait until Mark and Charlie, the homeowners, come home so I can show them their beautiful new nests. It's great to know that you've got a product that not only looks brilliant, but you can use remotely and also controls the three major heat mediums that they've got in this house. If you need any more help or any more information, please comment in the comment section below. Click that like button, subscribe to us as well. If I had my phone, I'd be putting this little bit on our Instagram story, so follow us over on Instagram. I'll leave some links to that below. And obviously follow us over on Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat as well. All great places to keep up with what we're doing. And by all means, like I've said, pop over to Nest and have a little look at the products that they do. So thanks ever so much for watching today, guys, and I'll see you in our next video. Until then, remember one thing you've got to do, that's hold time. See you later.